I'm going to show the steps to skin a black bear with it in mind that you're going to make a black bear rug. This right here is a Southeast Alaska black bear. It's probably about a six foot bear. And we have the skinning cuts mostly made except for one. When uh, Paul Nees here gutted it, he came up and gutted it just up to the ribs. So you got the back leg coming in, not messing with the pad, coming from the heel up to a point. Here's the pelvis from here to here to the center of that. Yep. So other leg, same exact way as the first. Heel up, should meet the bear at the same point right there. Paul made his skinning cut on the front leg, not nicking the leather on the pad, came up right across the point of the elbow, like on a human to be right here, through the armpit, so through the thin hair on the armpit, up to the brisket. Now, the last part of the cut, just to demonstrate kind of how it looks and how it works, Paul's gonna do the last skinning cut here so you see how someone goes about making a skinning cut on a bear. Yeah, and he's, he's a little stiff, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just start right here and I'm gonna run it right down through here. The one thing when, when you do these cuts is you definitely, you wanna come up from underneath the hide. You, you want the blade to be running under the hide coming up and that way you minimize how much of this hair you're cutting off. So I'm just going to come in right right under the pad. I'm going to sink it in here. And it's tough because he's this bear is he's a little riggered up so kind of work it. Yeah we're just going to skin him now. That'll all roll right off of there. Very slowly peeling this thing back, like you're slowly peeling back the sheet on the bed. Just about half the bear is skin now. The hide's just been peeled away from the body. All the meat's clean. Some hair, you can't really avoid it on bears, but for the most part, the meat's nice and clean. Skin the arm out, and we're down now. The pad hasn't been messed with, and we're down to the wrist joint. We just want to feel for where it's bending and then start cutting. Keep prying because you'll pop a lot of stuff. And then at this point, we got all the legs skinned. We removed the bulk of the meat. We got the four quarters off, bagged up, and now we are getting ready to work on skinning the head. We're not gonna cut any further up here. We skinned the lips back and cut through the gums and got that much skinned out. You can't go any farther because the, the skin doesn't want to stretch around the skull. So at that point, and we're skinning this part forward. So we're just skinning up to the point right behind the ears. Then we'll sever the head. And then you can stand the head up on its nose and, and finish the skinning job on the head. You can see now we have the bear all the way done. It's a nice job, no nicks. Again, pads left intact, fairly clean. For now, you wanna fold it like this, another the leather. Paul wants to make sure that the head stays good. So rather than insulating the head inside the hide, he likes to roll it and have the head on the outside so that freezes first. If you got some space on your den or space on your floor that just needs a bear rug, this is the perfect bear for you.